Real quick, before we get into this video, if you don't want to be disappointed, stop watching. And since you're still here, I'm assuming you're cool with disappointment. Now, without further ado, let's get to it. This is actually my second time recording this around. Uh, I am actually done trading for the day, but essentially what I did was show that, here, let me just show you things look a little different now. All I wanted to show you was I am down almost $400 over the past month, and I wanted to take this time to let you know I have added a total of $394 to this account over the past month. As you can see, it is up $345 at the time of this, and this is after the day is done. So from the point where we started this challenge, we are down. I'm going to update it later in the video, but just wanted to take this time to let you know I have essentially failed the challenge, but I'm going to keep on keeping on. Before we get into what happened today, I just want to take this time to let you know that I'm not going to stop the challenge. I'm going to keep going until the end of the year. I'm not going to rush to try to catch up. So this week, I believe the balance of the account was supposed to be 390. So that means I should be up $190. I've added $390 and lost the 200 I started with. So once again, we'll get into the math later for that. But needless to say, I'm going to be going for 10% more days more frequently. One other thing I forgot to say that you may or may not have noticed, you may be wondering, how am I down so much over the past month? if the last six weeks have gone so well. If I hit the goal for a week in a day, hey, I just record it and count it out right there. So pretty much the last month, I have been trading sideways, actually trading down. I've had all this negative momentum, so now we get the fun of trying to break that. And now without further ado, I'll get back to you after we trade a little today. And we are back after market close. If I didn't say it earlier, today is Friday. Let's hop in the portfolio and take a look at how the day went. Here we are. As you can see, we hit our 10% on the day. As hard as it is to see where we are in the challenge from where we were last week and uh, how far we've come and now how far we've gone back, it feels so good to once again be hitting 10% and getting back into the swing of things. This is the close of the week. So let's really quick take a look at what we traded today. Started the day out in a Tesla call, a 191.67 call, paid 140 for it yesterday. So it was actually a swing, all right? And then we sold out this morning for 156. And I actually wanted to sell it at a higher price, but it didn't work out. I pretty much sold this the first minute of market open. Then after it fell, I, I thought I knew the level of support wasn't the level of support. So I bought a call, paid 85 for it. We bought in 13 minutes after market open. Tesla continued to fall and about 14 or 15 minutes after that, sold out for $55, taking a loss. After that, took a trade on Apple, bought in for 106. We bought in at 306 and we sold out at 647 so i was in this the majority of the day there was an opportunity to sell out earlier but i stepped away from my phone if we go back and look at the chart we can see we had this spike earlier or maybe it was over here pulled back down ran back up and then ultimately i noticed we were at 10 percent, and i was like let me lock it in before anything happened so yeah we took profits right there and now we hit our goal. And that's gonna do it for the week. Once again, I'm not going balls to the wall and trying to go crazy to grow this account. This challenge is about being consistent. And as you can see for the past month, I was pretty much consistently in the red. So it's a new month, it's a new week, all that good stuff. Get back in the green. This week was really about shifting the momentum and maybe in the coming weeks, we'll catch back up and get back on track to hit our 28,000 by the end of the year. But even hitting 10% a day, we should be back in a few weeks. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, be sure to smash the like button. I wanna know how did the stock market treat you this week? Hopefully you had a much better week than me. Let me know down below in the comments. And last but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.